Hi, I'm Principal Bob, the electric principal, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about charging today. Uh, and chargers, in particular, level one and two chargers. Uh, and what your options are when you go purchase one, uh, and what to look for in a good charger, and what you don't need. First of all, I'm going to just show you a level one charger. This is the lowest level charger that you can get. This, this beauty came with my 2021 VW ID4. I have used it zero times. Uh, this is meant to go into a 110 outlet. It plugs into your house. Basically, this charger will give you about 30 miles of charging uh, for an entire night. Now, it's good to take along on trips. Plug it into a wall socket when you're traveling somewhere and you can get 30 miles of fuel overnight, which is probably what you might use just driving around a small town during the day, going to stores, going to a restaurant. This, on the other hand, is a level one and level two charger. Um, this comes with two plugs. It comes with a plug that you can uh, plug it into a 110 outlet, but it also comes with a second plug that allows you to plug it in at home in your 220 and get yourself about 30 miles per hour of charging. Um, this is a 30 amp charger. It is not the most powerful charger you can buy, but it's really reasonable. Uh, this one's made by VW. Uh, we don't have many of them in stock. You, you kind of have to have a VIN number to a 23 in order to purchase one of these. That's how we're limiting the supply. But other companies make it. As a matter of fact, this is not made by VW. Obviously, we, we outsourced it, so you can find it uh, if you want. And that 30 amp charger is, is going to be good. It's going to get you about 25 miles uh, per hour. Now, we're going to find that out for sure because I'm going to take this charger and compare it to my home charger, which is a Grizzly E 40 amp charger. And we're going to plug in a 23 in a little bit, and we're going to just see the difference. What's the difference between how much energy I get per mile or per kilowatt with a 30 amp charger versus a 40 amp charger? As far as charging goes, guys, you don't need to buy a sophisticated charger. You really don't. A lot of companies, including Electrify America, uh, which is a VW uh, company, make very expensive chargers that have an app that go with it, and the app is also the same app you use to use the entire Electrify America network. Other companies make very good apps to go with their products so you can monitor your charging. But the truth of the matter is, you may have spent between thirty and $150,000 on your electric car, and your car comes with all the software, all the stuff that it takes, in all likelihood, uh, that would just replicates what these chargers would come with. So you're really buying something, paying for it twice, and you don't really need it. Uh, so my advice to you is buy the simplest charger you can that you can just plug in, and charge. I mean, think about it. Do we have special apps and devices that measure how our iPhone or our Google Android phone is charging? We don't. We just plug it in. That's what you do. And really, after you charge for a while, there's no miracle to this. It's, it's simply you plug your charger into the wall. The charger goes into the car and puts energy in it. That's all there is to it. And then if you need to change the timing or do anything else with it, well, that's, that's kind of what the software in the car is for or the app that came along with your car. You don't need anything else. So that's how it works. So let's take a look at how the charger works. We'll compare the cord uh, diameter of my Grizzly E with this particular uh, charger. And you're going to see there's a difference. Uh, quality counts in terms of heavy duty cords. But really, uh, for the most part, folks, uh, buy yourself a simple charger, charge your car, save some money, uh, and uh, have fun driving your electric car without worrying about what charger do I need to buy. Buy simple. This is Principal Bob. We are going to start off with a level one charger here. This is my VW charger. It's never been used before because I'm not a real fan of level one charging. It's slow. Hey, but if you need to get 30 miles in a night and it's convenient for you to use some of that energy up that you might be driving around town or you have short trips only, this would actually work for you. But let's see what it really pulls out of the car. Let's see what uh, 
what the meter on the car tells me it's putting into a car. Now it's 27 degrees here, folks. It's cold. I'm cold. The battery's cold. Never good for fast charging, but the comparison will hold true no matter what the temperature is. How fast do these chargers charge? So I've got my level one cheapo VW charger. Well, it wasn't cheap. I bought a car to get it uh, plugged in. And we'll take a look at what this looks like. It's communicating with the car already. This is what the charger looks like when it's plugged in and everything's working okay. So we're gonna go take a look and see what's uh, happening in the world. You notice it's flashing, which tells me the car is charging. Now, looking at the screen, I'm only getting one mile per hour of charging with a level one charger in a 23 ID4. And I'm only charging at a half a kilowatt. Now, obviously in eight hours, that means I'm getting eight miles of fuel, which really isn't very serviceable. Uh, but my customers who do use a level one charger exclusively report much better results than this. But uh, maybe some of my viewers can chime in and let me know uh, if they're using a level one charger uh, what their particular results are. So at this point, I'm going to stop charging, unplug the charger, and now we're going to go take a look at the Volkswagen charger. I've turned off uh, the charging in the car, so it's very simple to pull the plug on the level one. We're going to put this away, and now we're going to plug in the VW charger, uh, which is a 30 amp charger. Uh, it's not as powerful as the last one I'm going to use, but we're just going to see where we're at with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Volkswagen uh, Level 2 charger, 30 amp, and we're going to plug it in in place of my Grizzly E, and we're going to see what we get. So I'm going to just pull the cord. You know, this cord is massive on this Grizzly E. It's hard to get out. You have to park your Grizzly E just in the right spot because there's no room to move this cord. It is so heavy duty. So now we're going to plug in the Level 2 charger. It should start to communicate right away with the car. Remember, we just are looking for a green light here. We're good. So let's go into the car and see how fast this 30 amp VW charger is doing the job. So I just uh, got back in the car and you're going to notice uh, that we are charging right now at uh, 19 miles per hour, significantly more obviously. The 30 amp charger is putting in seven kilowatts and it's telling me that I'm gonna get 19 miles per hour. Now, once again, remember it's a cold battery and it's a cold outside and so the charging's a little slower. But obviously, you know, if we were gonna charge at this rate, we're almost at 20 miles per hour, you know, you get 160 miles of fuel in an evening, uh, which, is, which is really plenty because you rarely ever take this car down that low when you're doing your daily driving. But, if I had a big battery car, it might be a little different. We might worry a little bit about this, but for an ID4 or Ionic 5 or something like that that has a smaller battery, you know, Kia Nero, you'd be just fine with this charger. So again, I'm going to hit the stop charging button and we're going to uh, turn this off. And now we're going to go to my standard Grizzly E Avalanche Edition, which all it means is that it's white and it's very hard to keep clean. Uh, on the cord on the floor. I actually replaced the original white cord with a black cord because I just didn't like keeping it clean. Uh, it's it's a really heavy duty charger. So just to compare the the, the uh, cables of these, you know, the top cable yellow is obviously my level one charger. The middle cable is the Grizzly E and the bottom cable is uh, the VW 30 amp charger. And you know, why does a thicker cable matter? Well, it's just more efficient, uh, heavy duty. This uh, Grizzly E is designed to be out in super cold weather uh, and do the job. So now it's time to plug in the Grizzly E and we're gonna see how that compares. Now, obviously this is gonna put in more energy. It's a heavy duty unit, really not meant to be portable. It could be, but that'd be a lot of work. So let's go plug it in here and see what's gonna happen. As always, we're looking for a green light. Green is good in charging world. We're green. I'm back in the uh, VW 23 ID4. And right now we are charging at a rate of 25 miles at e each hour. And we're at nine kilowatts, which is really nice. I mean, obviously, you know, in the summer when it's warmer, usually I'm getting over 30 uh, with this particular charger. 
Uh, and obviously in 10 hours, you're going to get 250 miles. Uh, this never has given me a problem. I've always had enough current uh, to charge this car to exactly where I want in the evening. Uh, and so, you know, with a 40 amp charger, you're never going to be short. You know, for most people, a 30 amp will work, especially if you have a smaller battery car. So I'm just going to let my car over here, the red car, just uh, uh, charge a little more. But in general, I hope today uh, we've shown you the difference between a level one and, and two different level two chargers. Um, you know, uh, what you need at home depends on how much you drive and how fast you need to charge. It's as simple as that. No one could give you advice and tell you what you should buy uh, because you're gonna have to address your own needs to make this work. Now, if you own a gal like this, this Audi e-tron is a big gal. She's got a big battery. Or if you own a Rivian or you're gonna buy a Ford, you, you need to buy a 50 amp charger, folks, because it takes a long time to fill up a 120 or 130 kilowatt car. If you own a Chevy Bolt, that little VW 30 amp will work just fine because that's a really efficient small car. For me, I would own both. I would buy both the Grizzly E to have it permanently mounted in my house. And I would buy, and I did buy, uh, the VW, which is a 30 amp charger because it's just gonna fit in the back of my ID4. And when I travel, it's gonna work out nicely because I can plug in anywhere I want. And it's a level one charger as well. So if I'm in a place that's got limited ampage or a house that's got fuses, if we're at grandma's house, uh, I can plug that in I, and I can get my 20 to 30 miles per night and that'll work just fine. So it's all about versatility. It's all about meeting your needs. But I'm just telling you, I think in this case, simple is better. Simple is way better. And uh, save yourself a little money and you're going to be just fine. Once again, thank you so much for watching my channel. This is Principal Bob, the Electric Principal. I hope you like this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you so much. Happy driving electric cars.